Okay, like lets us do wild carding. So I'm gonna, I've got this example I was doing from Aware earlier. Um, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, but I'm gonna keep all the same information here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a little bit more about how this like works. So what I'm doing, remember where is show me only, right? So select says show me, and then where is but only the things I asked for. So in this case, I wanna see the film name and the year released, um, but I only wanna see the ones where the film name has the word the somewhere in the name, right? So I can see everything with the word the anywhere in the name. How do I do that? Because of these wildcard searches, right? So we've got a bunch of different things we can use. Um, percentage means um, any characters, zero or more characters. So if I put that at the beginning and then say the, and remember it's gotta be in quotes, you'll notice that I won't get some of these anymore. It'll change a little bit, right? Because nothing has just the at the end, because that's what I'm asking for right now. I'm saying show me with any letters at the beginning and T-H-E at the end. Now if I add a percentage at the other end, now I'm saying with any letters at the beginning or no letters at the beginning, any letters at the end or no letters at the end, and T-H-E occurring anywhere in there. So let's take a look, right? So there's a the, there's a the, and another the. There's a the, 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 the, and the, right? So we can see how that starts finding things for us. And we can we can use that um, in a couple of different ways. So for instance, if I wanted to make sure I only got things that started with the, I could say, show me anything that starts with T-H-E and then has anything at the end. Right now, only the ones that start with T-H-E are shown. I could say, um, say I wanted to only find dirty half dozen, um, but I wanted to be sure I got it right. Right, and anything with with something at the beginning. So I'm going to say it's got to have three, four characters at the beginning, and then it has to have the word dirty, and then it can have anything at the end. So what am I saying here? I'm saying only show me anything with one, two, three, four characters at the beginning, because the question marks are required characters, but they can be any character. Dirty then has to be the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth letter, and then you can have anything after that. Oh, I've screwed something up. Let's see, I may not like the question marks in this one. Let's, uh, let's make a couple of corrections, and then you'll have to find this that you play with this sometimes. It may not like the question marks. Let's do underscores. I was hoping to three, four, that it would be okay with question marks. There we go. Yeah, PHP doesn't like question marks so much. Um, the problem with, with using the spaces, uh, the underscores, is you can't tell how many you've got unless you reach up there and scroll through them. But you can see now I'm saying four characters and then the word dirty. All right, so we can use this to do a lot of different kinds of checks. Um, and we can get really complicated. We could say it has to have dirty, and it has to have four letters, and then it can have anything or can have nothing. And if there was nothing, then obviously I wouldn't get anything because it says it has to be exactly right. And of course it can't be because now I have to have four before and four after, and there's no wild cards. Um, so you just have to play with this um, and see what you get. You know, like anything, obviously would give you everything because now you're not asking for anything specific. And you can mix these together. You can you can use ands and ors um, to to work through these things to to find exactly the information you want with a like. All right. Good luck.